All right, so let's learn how to uh, draw some of the different uh, structures of glucose. So we've got glucose here, so which we know is C6H12O6. Okay, and we showed uh, one form of that where we have the car aldehyde up at the top. four carbons in the middle and the last uh, carbon at the bottom okay and we normally number these one through six uh, in that fashion so this would be my first carbon second carbon third fourth fifth and sixth okay uh, the hydroxyl groups how we put them are very important uh, because of the fact that this each uh, carbon can have is potentially chiral and so when we draw it like this we are actually drawing what we're going to refer to as D glucose D glucose and we're calling it D glucose because of the height where the position of the hydroxyl group on the fifth carbon. When we draw it in what we're going to call the um, Fischer projection uh, formula, if the hydro hydroxyl group is on the right, it is the D isomer of the monosaccharide. In this case, it's glucose. Now, when we show uh, when we draw Fischer projections, uh, we can actually uh, save a little bit of time by not drawing all of these carbons, these inner two through five carbons. Just like we did in organic chemistry when we started drawing uh, skeletal functional, uh, skeletal um, formulas, we can sort of do that for uh, carbohydrates as well. And so the first carbon is an aldehyde, so that's still, I'm gonna write that out. And then the last carbon is um, always written, so the sixth carbon is written. But instead of drawing all the carbons in the middle, I can just draw a sort of line through that and noting that, knowing that, I should say, that uh, that basically where that T that crossed, that's a carbon there. So that would be my second carbon. And then continue to draw three, four, and five carbons like so. So you can see the similarities between this glucose and this glu the glucose written in black and the glucose written in um, blue. Now here the uh, carbon on the fifth is where I'm going to look to uh, name these uh, the isomers the hydroxyl group on the fifth carbon in glucose is on the left side, and so I'm going to label this as L-glucose because that is the L-isomer. The hydroxyl group on the fifth carbon is on the opposite side, so it is a different isomer than the one I wrote before. And as we said previously, uh, these open chain or straight chain forms of monosaccharides uh, isn't really how they occur in solution, in aqueous solution, like in your body. Uh, the first carbon is going to form uh, a bond with the uh, hydroxyl group on the fifth carbon. And if we think about this happening for the D glucose, it will form a cyclical, cyclical structure of the D glucose. And it turns out that um, we call these Haworth structures. Or Haworth formulas, really. And there are two different uh, forms for glucose. Okay, they form a ring, and we could even use basically a skeletal formation for that. 
So this would be the one carbon, and it bonded with the hydroxyl group from the fifth carbon. So there's actually a CH2OH group up here, that's the sixth carbon. And we can draw all of the hydrogens and hydroxyl groups and on the rest of the carbons. Now on that number one carbon, the anomeric carbon, there are two very important uh, configurations that we would want to think about. The hydroxyl group can either be down, as I wrote it like this, or the other scenario is that the hydroxyl group can be up. So let's draw that structure and see what that would look like. Okay, same thing's happening. Okay, so the big difference for this one, and I forgot a hydrogen over here, the big difference for this structure is on that first carbon or that number one carbon or that anomeric carbon, however you want to say it, that hydroxyl group can be in the up position. And so these give rise to two isomers, that possibility. And so when the hydroxyl group is in the down position for the cyclical structure of glucose, we call that the alpha isomer. So this would be alpha D glucose. And if instead the hydroxyl group is in the up position, that gives rise to the beta isomer. So this is beta D glucose. And again, hydroxyl group is down, alpha. If the hydroxyl group is up in the structure, beta.